All right, we're in Atlanta. We're at some, I'm not an Airbnb kind of guy. This is junk. Or miss a couple of things. Yeah, like everything. But they got some real nice Ikea furniture I'm real excited about. Uh, anyway, we, oh, this place, maybe. this is nice. This is nice for, oh, it's, nice. it's just missing a lot of stuff. So Mike and I are here in Atlanta. We're gonna vlog, capture, do all kinds of footage of this trip. Uh, we're doing uh, Ed Bolian's Garage, a VinWiki channel. If you're not familiar, just search VinWiki. Uh, they do car guy stories, and they also have an app uh, where you can do a Vin research. It's like crowdsourced Vin research. I'm sure I'll get him to explain it at some point, but we're gonna be doing flooring, lighting, cabinets, tools, air compressor, pressure washer, paint, um, tile, you name it, we're gonna be doing it. So uh, we're here for seven days, we got here last night, and we're gonna spend uh, the next however many hours it takes to get this done. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna chase uh, setting up an OG spec garage for Ed uh, and document the whole process, and this will be the start of probably a bunch of these type of things that I do. Also the start of me uh, trying to talk people out of um, bothering me and wanting me to do every single garage. Yeah. Everybody has this great idea. Hey man, I got a great idea. How about um, you give me everything and um, you come and uh, do all the work. That's for free. Like, I get, yeah, I get that all the time. I got a great garage for you. I said, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. So you know, take it easy on me on that, please. So we're gonna make some breakfast without many utensils <laughs> and uh, we're gonna go to Costco at some point and uh, buy a bunch of stuff that we need and I'll bring you along for the ride. So any trip like this, uh, I tend to get out of control. So what we're gonna do is we went to the grocery store, I'm gonna pack my lunch, eat like a responsible human, uh, because when we do these, you get into the bork mode, next thing you know you're eating pizza at 2 p.m. and you eat a whole pizza because you're freaking starving and then you feel like crap. You get into that like construction worker lifestyle or you wake up, you eat a, you know, eat a moon pie, yep. drink some yoo -hoo, and then, and then, uh, then you starve yourself, and you, then you eat a pizza, and then for dinner you go and eat everything in sight. So we're gonna keep this under control. All right. So here's the plan. We're gonna buy a 65-inch OLED to put over here because they gave us some 27-inch element with no cable. We're gonna be here for a week. Buy a toaster. We're gonna get a toaster. We're, sheets. We're gonna be yeah, sheets, pillows. We're gonna buy a thermostat because they locked us out of the thermostat. We're gonna rewire the thermostat. Because what happens with this Airbnb white trash crap is that you get a bunch of wannabe rich people, wannabe a bunch of young people say, "This is how I'm gonna get rich. We're gonna buy a bunch of. We're gonna overpay for a bunch of places. Buy some really nice IKEA furniture, uh, and then we're gonna not do anything that because they don't know what you would actually need, like pillows." like a sheet on the bed, like uh, towels, a, Water detergent. a cup, a cup. Uh, or uh, you know, they're gonna, let's lock out the thermostat. We wanna make sure they don't charge us too much, uh, they don't use too much air conditioning. <laughs> so, oh boy, I want a joke. All right, so that's the last of my complaining about this place. But the other thing I hate is LED lights. People that try to save 10 cents on lights that don't freaking work. You know, so they take 20 minutes to warm up and then you can't see anything. Like, look at it, I can't see anything in here. The camera's freaking out. So this is the last complaining, but to the 28 year olds who um, you know, pay their bills from their parents who bought this place that think they're, this is how, you know, they watch Grant, Grant Cardone and how to get rich in real estate. Thanks a lot. We really appreciate this. I'm done complaining about this place. But you may see us go to Costco and buy a, buy a 65 inch OLED and I'll be calibrating it. And maybe a new thermostat so we can change the temperature in this place. I need to record all this, all these golden nuggets we're talking about here. We're dropping nuggets all over the place. Somehow we got on this whole topic of, remember home interior, some of you that grew up in trailer parks like I did? It's like tchotchkes that you'd kind of buy and get on payment plan for and have parties, Rubbermaid, uh, or no, Tupperware, Tupperware. Encyclopedia Britannica. Encyclopedia Britannica. I'm gonna get in so much trouble on this one. And we're going to Ed's mansion to build this uh, you know, million dollar garage here with all these fancy Lamborghinis and stuff. That's what we're going to do. 
while we crap on our, our roots. <laughs> <laughs> New rule, no garages done, <laughs> except for Hawaii and Los Angeles in the winter. And Florida. <laughs> but even, yeah, South Florida, even yeah. Orlando's a little cold. God dang it, we're sissies. <laughs> it's, it's right. we're dying. We're headed to Ed's now, it's uh, 15 minutes away. It's Sunday morning. In the year of the, our Lord, 2020. <laughs> Sorry, church. We're not. We're not going. We got to go to the church of construction. Garage. Church of garage. We, we're following the GPS. We've been having some real problems with directions on this trip thus far. It took us 40 minutes. We were at the wrong building. Emailing the people, trying to figure out. You know, yelling at them that they gave us the wrong number. Well, we were just in the actually wrong, was right. Yeah, in the wrong building. But I think we can get to Ed's house. So we are 11 minutes out. Going back to Ed's uh, Vinwicky Mansion back here. Oh, yeah, this is it. There it is. Yeah, he's got the best lot in the neighborhood. Yeah. So here we go. This is our garage for the for the week. You got single car, single car triple deep to six car ish something like that all right <clears throat> compressors here yeah flooring's here i was Lots of stuff. freaking out about that Lots of boxes. yeah oh man the paint this looks so much better doesn't it <laughs> it looks so much more modern yeah, it's yeah. heated in here, yeah, so right. I don't tend to run it. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Oh, yeah. This is yeah. going to be fantastic. I like how it came out. They said, like, they wouldn't drive a car over it. Yeah. Like, the golf cart or whatever, you totally fine. Yep. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah. Yep. It's going to look That's so good. It's about the same height as Swiss Traps. It's so good. Yeah, they, they laid it next to it, so she yeah. yeah. That's the exact as one can make it. We'll reinstall the toilet and sink that's not currently plumbed in. And they built this thing for the pressure washer. Sweet. I think that'll work well. The, yeah. Uh, I haven't 100% decided where I want to put the compressor, but yeah. I'll let y'all strategize. I haven't also decided what to do with the stairs. The, yeah. Uh, they're, you know, kind of a. Is that wood underneath the carpet? It like, is, but of course it's faded. Yeah. Um, so we can strategize. I was just thinking if you pull the carpet off and you have this refinish to maybe a, a stain a dark gray or something. Yeah, that's kind of what, what we did. Obviously, we didn't have time to sand it down and redo yeah. that. But it's, uh, yeah, I mean, I think that's probably the ultimate answer. So what we're going to do when you're, when you're out, we're going we're gonna to dig through the boxes, make sure we got everything. Then we're probably going to run to Home Depot get tools and stuff that we need okay. and um, the Sonic guys will be here on Monday so they'll bring the cabinets okay. they're gonna bring the cabinets and tools and all of that Sweet. and then um, the tricky part is we're gonna have to figure out how to get up there yeah they didn't use scaffolding so they didn't have any to like leave behind got it um, well what we could do we'll go to the depot and we can buy scaffolding or they yeah. rent it they do. Sure. We, we rented a F-150, so yeah. we could, or we could rent a Home Depot trailer and rent the scaffolding for a, today just to do the lights. Gosh, the paint looks so much better. Yes. That's Gosh. Good. I know, I like the yellow. <clears throat> the, um, we painted everything behind here. Still, I think, needs some tweaking. I got, so there's a couple things that we talked about being able to do to make this look better. One is, these, so the, this length of wire only came in like eight foot. Mm -hmm. And so this junction block is kind of this awkwardly placed. So it's just five wire thing. I've got the extra of it. So we were thinking we could hide it just along this seam mm -hmm. and just do a junction box here. Or we had enough legit to proper disassemble this to rewire it and to run it and just have the connection box. Not here. So. so I think what we do, Mike, is we do all the stuff that we have to do. Mm -hmm. I bet you we get done with it early and then you and I, we can start to do some of that. We can yeah, do yeah. some of the detail yeah. stuff. Wow, yeah. Cool. Gosh, the, wait till you see the light in here is going to be like yeah. a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be insane. Yeah. 
we got to figure out um, what kind of light, what, what lights we end up doing in here and all that. All right, let's dig through this pile. I'm going to get my cameras. We're going to de-yellow this place. Step one was paint. Step two is lights. Yeah. <laughs> Why would Harbor Gray flat? Yeah, no, this is flat. Flat, flat, flat. flat. You're not supposed to touch the walls. Yeah, you touch them up if you scratch them. Yeah. Yeah. And then white trim. Fresh, clean, white trim. This is fantastic. Oh yeah, we got our Ryobi over there, our Ryobi knockoff pressure washer, that's good. Huh? The th thing I'm most excited about is how this tile is going to look with Swiss tracks. This is perfect. I, I think it came out great. And then on the other bay, we did that in the entry area, so you have a little bit more of a squared off space mm -hmm. to work with. All the parts are filled yeah, in. So. Yeah, I'd expect that. Yeah, yeah. So, same color scheme and then tile in there. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Yeah, and this would be simple. We're just doing flooring and lighting in here. Yeah. Correct. Yes, it'll be quick. Babe, I'll turn you loose. <laughs> flooring and lighting. So I use the skill saw. What? I know how to do this tracking. I've done that. So I want to dig through and make sure we have the amount of flooring that we need and um, and everything. That way, I can get things like overnight. Number on square footage already. Yeah, yeah. We we know how many tiles. Yeah, we're supposed to have. But Swiss tracks have been screwing up lately, so okay. I want to make sure that. And I can say what I want because I freaking paid for it because they are screwing around too much. Yeah, this is going to be good. All right, let's dig through. Let's get our crap. Upstairs is the studio. That's right. Sweet. All right, let's go to work. They're taking all the cars out. All right, we're moving along. We got a good solid plan. We got all our stuff. Those are shelves. We got our compressor broken down. We got all of our uh, pressure washing stuff set up. Uh, I got all my camera gear, chart, you know, batteries cycling through. Uh, we found uh, power for a uh, compressor, which saved us. That's a huge project. So there was actually a 30 amp already, already installed, ready to go. Um, we've been uh, cleaning up and counting everything, counted all the Swiss, Swiss tracks are good to go there. Uh, fans are good. We got a key box, a lock box that we'll put somewhere. Uh, so we got all the stuff out of here, all the chairs and all the extra stuff out outside. Uh, we counted the lights, the compressor sitting here in place, sitting here so we know what we're doing there. Um, I'm starting to make a list of what we're gonna need at Home Depot. The, the factor on where we go next is gonna be if we can get a scaffolding or a scissor lift. But uh, lighting is technically the first project that we're working on and we gotta to remember to be eating because it's already about 11.30. So we'll be uh, making a Home Depot trip here shortly. All right, so we're talking about setting this up where we'd move the fridge, possibly convince them to move it upstairs. And then we do our electric air and our filter regular on the wall right here and make it look real pretty. Do it on a sheet of plywood. And we don't need anything in here. You know, all you're putting is the box. I, I already got the list for wiring a compressor. Yep. And we'll just need the four foot line. We'll get us power, we'll get us air out of here and then we do everything out there on the surface neat and tidy. Yeah. Nice and, and pretty. And then if you want to get, we just get cabinet grade plywood. So we need, so we need like stainless lags, yep. stainless lags and washers. We'll lag into the into the studs. Yeah, to put the reel and stuff on. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, we have uh, air and power. Okay. Yeah, that'll look clean. Here's our list. I know. We've already eaten lunch. We eat lunch standing up, right, people? <laughs> we That's did. Right. We all eat lunch we standing up. Know. We did. Yeah, we don't we don't do this, baby. Like, let's sit down and gather as a group and say a prayer and. We eat as we go and go. Uh -huh. Yeah. All right, let's roll. All right, depot. Here's our list. I say we go look for our scaffolding first. Yeah, good idea. Because we can't do squat without that. I'm gonna be holding you suspended in the air off of a uh, off of an extension ladder. All right. So good news is we found uh, 
these are color selectable, the only ones that we have that will match, so we can do 5,000 5, Kelvin. And because most of the light duties will be handled by the, you know, the bigger uh, OG fixtures, the Prime Lights fixtures, these will be sufficient, so we don't need anything super, super high end. We're getting our box for our compressor and uh, other odds and ends. First Home Depot run, we got everything but what we need, which is scaffolding. Yeah. You're gonna spring for the scissor lift anyway. All right, Home Depot's done. Turn right onto Mayfield Road. Heading back, turn right, right here. And so that's been very, very helpful, but yeah, so we can't, I don't know for sure that it's a kangaroo farm, but I'm not looking to verify that it's not. So the second owner owned a local collision shop and built all the garages. Originally there was a basketball court here and then a two-car car court. And so he came in and did that. So when we had to move out of the warehouse, because they jacked the rent up, yeah. like, I mean, we were really searching by garage size, which yeah. is a hard thing to do. Yeah. The only website that'll let you search by garage size is Redfin. Mm -hmm. And they'll only go up to five. At the time I needed eight. Mm -hmm. And so it, it took forever. But one of, one of the agents actually sent us this house as a comp for the area. Mm -hmm. And we're like, that's, that's the greatest house ever that's because it had sold like five months prior. Yeah. So that would have been, I think, the third owner. And he, I guess, they, somebody bought his company from Minnesota. He came down here, yeah. hated the new people, and moved his whole family back. So it was for sale again five months later. Huh. And so huh. I'd agreed reluctantly to extend our lease for like 18 months. Uh -huh. And on a Friday, it oh, came on the market on a Saturday. Open house was Sunday. And so I, I hadn't signed anything, so and they had kind of they didn't want us in there anyway. Yeah. And so I so you said twenty four hours. So. Exactly. So I called them on Monday. I was like, "You mind if we don't do that?" And like, nah, that's all right. And so I, but my, I told my agent like, "We have to buy the house, and you have to because she's like, well, it's going to start a bidding war.'" And I'm like, "Well, then you're not doing your job right. You have to get me the house." And she's yeah. like, "Well, what do you want to pay?" I'm like, well, as little as possible, but yeah. we got to get it clearly. Yeah. And she's like, "Well, I think we should bid over the asking price." And I'm like, "Well." I don't know why I need an agent for that. Yeah. And she's like, uh, understood. And so she went to work and we got it. Made it work though. Huh? Exactly, yeah. yeah. But it's How long have you been here? It's, uh, just over a year, so it was last December. Yeah, so that's pretty good. And it's it's perfect. We had a great so house. Last time we were out here, you didn't have this house yet. We didn't. No, I live about 15 minutes east of town. Oh, okay. And it was it was a great house, but it only had a two-car garage. And you know, even though it kind of had a place where I could have yeah. built something, yeah. it wasn't quite perfect. Yeah. Which it, explains why you had your cars in your warehouse. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, so that was kind of the dual purpose. Yeah. Uh, like we, we rented the warehouse before the YouTube channel, and that, so it was kind of a hostile filming yeah. environment. There wasn't like a great place to do it. Right. And then this popped up and kind of solved all the problems. Yeah, I think that's it's everything. Yeah. yeah. That's good. But fortunately, like, even the setup was great because there's the left bay that my wife uses. Yeah. And mm -hmm. all the fits boys stay in. Yeah. And then we come in here. Yeah. So, yeah, that is awesome. Yeah, is. So for the sake of just having them here and seeing them, that works. But now I've got... So how did you do that? Did you have multiple drivers, obviously, right? Yeah, yeah, two drivers and another, like, uh, other personalization, but... You We're know. talking about neon signs and uh, shiny lights and big puke yellow ferrari badges everywhere all over here so we're gonna we're gonna figure that out figure out what uh, what makes the most sense here you but you know it's it's what, your what garage doesn't make your skin crawl yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, a, it's a useful threshold yeah, it's not gospel you don't have all your lamborghinis debadged you won't, <laughs> you won't know what they are <laughs> yeah he sells enough of these that i can quit my job and start just traveling around and building this yeah go. that's something yeah. You got a knack for it. Yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh, the gray walls. I'm getting so fired up. Ed and I are sitting here talking about uh, life and business, and uh, Mike's been all over That's right, work. we're cheering him on. He's great. You we know, only have one ladder, so technically. That's it. I mean, he needs a spotter or three. Yeah. And, and Maureen's building the wall over walls, there of Legos. Swiss tracks over yeah. there. Yeah. Save us the time of uh, opening the box. He does drop a screw every once in a while. We got to pick it up. <laughs> I mean, like, you know, it takes a village. We, we're yeah. we're valuable. Come on, odds in this wheel. Yep, yep. <laughs> when he needs us, we're usually sc screwing around with the camera or something. All right. So what we're what we're doing here, as you can see, I mean, just look at the look at the light quality difference. I, I know I showed it on the main the main video, but and and the camera's going to adjust a bit. But then. You can just see, like, look at the wall here. 
and look at the walls back there. So even even you were saying like, how do you, how do you how do you quantify the quality of light? Like why would anybody care about that until you see it? Yeah, because it, honestly, it was never like a pain point for me, right? Because I didn't have a reference frame for it. Like right. when you told me it was going to be all super white light, I was like, I'm not doing surgery in here. Like we're parking pretty far. But I mean, look at that hallway. So look yeah. at the hallway, and those are the same gray walls. Right. And then look at the gray walls right there. Yeah. No, it's it's very, remarkably different. Remarkably different. Sure. Go ahead. You can do work, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. We'll, we'll let you we'll let you do the I appreciate it. So we've discovered that whopper jawed really is a word. Both Ed and Mike just swung around on me like I was a maniac. I never heard that word before in their life. Oh. Well we looked up the urban dictionary. It, it means askew or off. Crooked caddy walks. Crooked, yeah. Synonym for caddy walks. Now that's a dumb word. I don't like that one. I like mine better. Ed and I like caddy walks. Oh, that's right. That's, that, that's what we say in Georgia. Yeah. yeah, that's a dumb one. So that's a wrap. One on to see what it looked like here without any other lights on. You can see the yellowing difference. And then it's nice and bright in here. We'll start Swiss tracks tomorrow. So that'll be good. Yikes. I'm gonna blow out the camera. That looks fantastic. So we got our four fixtures in here again. This really only needs three. And then you saw the other. So tomorrow. We're trying to figure out the fans and all of this in here is done. So we can start working on some of the detail hopefully tomorrow afternoon. It's pretty bright. It sure is. <laughs> How did this happen to us? Stuck on a laptop. We're watching TV on a laptop. I promise this would never happen to us again. I don't know if everybody remembers when we were here last time. So we got stuck watching our laptop in Sean's cabin. Yeah, and we almost went and bought a TV and, and we never binge did. watched what three or four Netflix shows. Yeah. This time we are Wi Fi and a TV. Yeah. Well, when are we going to do it? Because you know it's the same thing's going to happen tomorrow. We're going to take a we're break. We're going to go to Home Depot. We're going to divert to Costco and we're going to buy a. a 65 inch. We don't, we don't need anything at Home Depot. We got everything. No, we need, well, I'll think of something. <laughs> I don't want to waste the time when we get the job done. Anyway, day one is done. We went to dinner. I didn't run my four miles. I'm in week half of week one and I'm already slipping up. You know what? Screwing up. I'm trying to change the world though, in fairness. Well, you're double whammy in it. And then I'm here asking these people, these two, about Fox News and how you could possibly watch that crap. And they're like, oh, it's great. It's fair and balanced. I said, okay. I didn't say fair and balanced. I said, I can't watch CNN. It's real good. I said, oh, for entertainment? Is that what it's about? And then they started grilling me on watching CNN. I don't watch CNN. I don't watch any of this crap. I get stressed out sitting on this crappy couch. So we're watching Shark Tank. That's good old wholesome American entrepreneurship. So anyway, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hopefully you're still here tomorrow after this uh, vlog because, uh, yeah, too many opinions. Tomorrow's another day. Live to fight another day. Garage is turning out awesome though. Catch you tomorrow. All right, day two. It's really cold. It's like 30, 20 something. It actually feels a little less cold because it doesn't feel as wet. Yeah. But we're headed over, getting a late start around nine because we were so enthralled by watching my 16 inch laptop screen last night. And uh, today we're gonna, we got a scissor lift coming so we'll finish the lighting. We'll probably knock out some of the flooring, especially in the small areas. Uh, we'll probably get started on the pressure washer. But I don't wanna overestimate, I always overestimate. Maddie estimation. And then we don't get anywhere near our I planned and it stresses me out. So we're just gonna do what we do. And I'm gonna bring you along for the ride. It was 37 yesterday. Maybe because we're expecting it. It's 26. It doesn't feel that bad though. It's been a long time since I've felt 20 degrees. Yeah. I think in Florida it may hit that for like 10 seconds once in a while. 10 seconds. Like once a year. But yeah, yeah when you get something out of the freezer. Yeah, this is cold. Sorry to you northerners, you were way tougher. We're not, we're not liking this. I probably said this 15 times in the video yesterday, but I'd forgotten how much, how important lighting is and how much it can transform a garage. Like we haven't even done anything and it feels like a new, clean, fresh place. Yeah. You know, combine that with some flat paint, you know, 
flat gray or some flat version of paint. Stay away from stripes and accent walls and all the other fancy tricks and just stick with simple. Even if the walls are white or dark gray or blue or something, you just stick with something basic. Yeah. And if you stay basic, then that affords you some room to do some crazy stuff like a lift or blue piping on the wall or something like that uh, without it looking like too much. Butter. Yeah. And of course, you know, there's another level like driver's club would be the ultimate, you know, where you have polished concrete and you have, you know, really high end stuff everywhere or like, you know, terrazzo flooring or tile, you know, ceramic tile or I guess it'd be porcelain tile. That's obviously the best option. Like the New Jersey garage that we did, it did like a really high density, high, high quality porcelain tile. I mean, that would be the ultimate with an, you know, an anti-skid rating and stuff like that. But now you're talking... 20 plus dollars a square foot you know, depending on the quality of the tile we walk in there and you see the main area with the puke yellow lights the yeah. walls of puke yellow totally you, you have to squint to see anything yeah. uh and then we may be taking it a little bit too extreme in some of the areas like like having four fixtures in the single bay is too much yeah you know but we would have had to patch the ceilings yeah. and it, it, it's not going to be a huge effect because he's never going to be standing in there doing work but you know it's a bit too much light in there uh, and that's there's such a thing as too much uh, but you know I, I think you want to go a little bit aggressive on lighting especially if you're going to do any kind of washing or detailing or anything like that or working on a workbench yeah and I do think I've moderated on 6500 versus 5000 I think 5000 is no, it's the sweet spot I think. yeah yeah I mean, 6500 is probably st superior light, superior you know color accuracy and things. And again, it also depends on the color of your cars. But 5000 is a little bit more manageable to live in. Mm -hmm. I think 4000 is too yellow. Uh, so anyway, I I'm really pleased with how those little those little um, recess fixtures turned out. <laughs> They're a little yeah. crappy, ten dollar or eight dollar little commercial electrics. Yeah, I wouldn't want those by themselves. Uh, but I do love that idea of having your main flamethrowers and then having some accented uh, um, or extra recessed. And then in a perfect world, you'd want one a separate switch. Uh, but we'll uh, we'll finish our lighting today and then head on to some of the more um, uh, I guess intricate installs like the like the um, the pressure washer and the the what's that thing called air compressor. What else am I missing? We got some stainless shelving to do. Oh, the cabinets. Yeah, keep forgetting about the cabinets because they're not here. But the cabinets will be a, a big, fun project. And then, you know, hopefully the, uh, the Sonic guys will uh, come up with an idea to do it as a display in the main area there. Uh, but uh, we also may send Ed. Maybe he'll go get a TV as well. I think I think he's right. I think having a TV on that little triangle wall next to the stairs there would be pretty sweet. Be a good idea. All right. So day two projects are likely. Clean this out start laying the flooring then hopefully uh, around one o'clock is when the scissor lifts come in so we'll knock those out and do the fans we're replacing the fans and then right now we're going to go knock out the two lights in the other single, single car and then so after we get that done we're going to prep all these lights just take and tear them down these are six bulbs so they don't need to be taken as apart as much Get these all prepped up and ready to go. So when the scissor lift gets here, we'll be able to knock that out. We also have to go get two more of these lights because, uh, or one more of these lights because we're going to do we're going to do six or uh, four fixtures on each side, the left and the right. But today's uh, today's project, we'll be, I think we'll be feeling good after today. Then we can work on some of the, the detail stuff, and then you know, the flooring will be the the cutting. The flooring will be the last part. Uh, I should have captured this conversation, but uh, we're going to put a display. A TV up here and you know I, I didn't think anything of it was like we need to get a you get an LG OLED and uh, Ed gave me that look <laughs> so we can't we can't do you know an ISF calibrated you know 55 they're only like two grand yeah god dang it <laughs> he's gonna go get me a freaking Vizio Walmart special that's right yeah it's too bad that we didn't come on Black Friday 
<laughs> you would have saved 80 bucks. So making a list of what we need. Checking our toys. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Freaking fridge. God dang it. <laughs> Not in store. Yeah, they don't have it. So just get it. Get it. Use my magnets if that makes you feel better. I was gonna throw them away, pull them off. Yeah, well, we, we might, we might. Get some stainless steel cleaner. Yeah, we might clean the fingerprints off. I'm yeah. feeling next time I come back, there'll be 20 more stickers on there. Well, you know, it's, you, you, you gotta take down all my sticker boards and stuff like that. So. Yeah, we could yeah. put those white shelves back up if you want out there. All right, yeah, we can keep, the fridge looks all right in there. At least it's stainless. At least it's can you at least get a sub-zero for me? Like counter, like a, Cabinet that sub zero. Why does it Sonic have refrigerator? It should, yeah. I mean, it's good. It makes all the sense in the million dollar idea right there. I, yeah, I wish them when they were here last time. They're like, oh, I'm going to do that. Like, start doing it. Yeah. Garage, garage refrigerators. Yeah. Yeah, so we need to get a nice, just get as nice of one as you can find hose bib. They don't have the one we want. Well, that's convenient. Oh. You're going to help me get one of these, right? All right. That's They get it to a million, a million uh, subscribers a lot quicker than the uh, 100,000 I think the new fulfillment people are, are just better. Faster. Look at that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. Is that solid? Yeah. It's wood. Solid gold. Yep, solid gold. Yeah, 24 karat gold. Solid gold. gold. <laughs> well, look at that thing. Pretty cool. All right, we're moving along. So fridge will probably go there. We got the ceiling fan. We got poles for that. We got our extra lights. Uh, we're also doing some occupancy, some uh, sensing lights. So they'll go up here in the in the corners. Uh, we'll get those goes done here. Um, Pressure washer is going in. The scissor lift just got here, so I've got to go have a meeting. I got a meeting with Rick, and so we're gonna bring the scissor lift in, work on the lights here. Uh, there's not much for me to capture from the floor. I don't know if we'll get me up in that scissor lift. Probably not. But uh, let's show you. Let's see. Let's see what we got here. Let's see what it looks like. Should be good. Oh yeah, perfect. Got our scissor lift. And then we were also talking about earlier again, figuring out what to do with a, a TV there. And yeah, behind the scenes here, we're rolling through this. So all the, since last time I was down here, the car, the golf cart's out of here, scissor lifts in. Uh, we're going through uh, lighting by we, I mean Mike, because I'm afraid of heights. And uh, I might go up there and hold something, we'll see. But yeah, rolling through and then shoot by, I would guess, by the end of today, we'll have the lighting done. We might even have the hose reels up. Because this is painted. Yeah, lighting, lighting and fans will be done here. And uh, then we'll be on to flooring. Shoot. We'll be rolling through that flooring soon. Maybe we will be able to go on, uh, have a vacation, go to the aquarium. Is there an aquarium here? <laughs> yeah, that's all I know of. <laughs> we just go to a movie or something, you know? Yeah. You know, I'll be going is on a Delta flight home. Oh, yes. Play with my beloved Corvette. You want to come play with the Corvette with me? Come do some, create some bald eagles. <laughs> <laughs> you know you want to drive that American beast. I do. Yeah, drive it off a cliff. Straight to the dealership, trade it in on something. Yeah, something nice. I'm going to trade it in on money is what I'm going to trade it in on. Yeah. It almost looks like we have more skylights. Yeah, it does. It does. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It does. Look so to see the normal lights, the normal lights, yeah. those are 2700 Kelvin. That's the color temp. And these are 5000. And then one of the things I, I made Ed do was I said, we need flat walls. So when you do flat, you don't end up with all kinds of reflections and stuff. Yeah. So we're, we're getting close to shutting her down. Mike finished the lights. Ed and I laid out the flooring in this garage and the other single bay. The big fan is down, so Mike's building another fan. So what we're doing is, uh, I'm not gonna video this because 
I don't know, I'm tired of videoing. But we're doing a 10 foot galvanized pipe and then we're doing these silver fans on this beautiful work, work bench that's gotten tons of use. So tomorrow the guys from Sonic are coming down. Uh, so we'll be building and placing the cabinets. Um, we'll probably finish the fan, the second fan. I'm guessing, or finish up the first fan and hang the second fan. What do you think? Yep. Tomorrow morning, first thing, because the scissor lift's gonna, gonna leave here. Uh, Maureen will be here laying out flooring. Probably, we'll be probably vacuuming and cleaning up the flooring. We'll probably get the hose reels mounted. Maybe get the CR Spotless mounted. So, this is really coming together. We really haven't done anything but lights, but it feels like we've done a lot. Well, we did a lot of gathering stuff. Yeah. Lighting was, I knew the lighting was gonna be the biggest. Problem. Yeah. Yeah, next, next garage, we'll send them out early and have them do an electrician. <laughs> electrician mount all the lights, and we just show up and do the flooring and the pressure washer and go home. We can do that in an afternoon. Hey, at least we didn't have to paint it. Can you imagine that? Ugh. Yeah, no, we wouldn't have not. Now, when you said painting, that, oh my gosh, we're never going to do that. No, no, yeah. My days of painting are over. I've always painted myself until I found some like legit painters and now I will never paint anything ever again. These guys are like freaking wizards. So we're getting a 55 inch really high end display. The, the best money can Best buy. of the best. Getting some hockey pucks. We got some new light bulbs, a couple of new fixtures. Yeah, Ed's, Ed's my target demo. The guy who's like, just tell me what to buy. Actually, yeah, but he's a little cheap though for me. Cheap. That's the problem. Yeah, yeah. True, we like to say. Yeah. But I, I think I can get you. I can get you on things. I can talk you into some stuff. You feel like yeah, uh, really yeah. I, I could have gotten you on the TV if I would have shamed you into it. Did you send a link for the OLED TV? No, no. He's yeah. He's. I thought I was giving on the cheap because I wasn't asking him to do a signature series LG, just a oh, or even a, a Sony. Lot of fixtures aren't prime, so it's not going to make it. So that's fine. We'll have a TV. TV will be here the 23rd. Three days. It's amazing shooting that video. Like what the video looked like. And now, with lighting. proper lighting, yeah. Looked like we were in a like an old car dealership. Old smoky car dealership. Yeah, old casino. <laughs> yeah. As far as there wasn't carpet in here on the yeah. floor. <laughs> now look at it. It's like a, it's like a mortuary. It's like an autopsy facility. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you've never seen this before in your life, but I'm at Walmart. The reason for that is, is I've got to get a TV because I can't sit here and watch this garbage anymore. I didn't even bring my camera. All right, well, let's get an LG then. All right. Yeah, I mean, a 55 is probably the right size. Yeah, that should be fine. Yeah. Look, it's only $478. That's like one bucket package. Yeah. All right, what are our other options here? Yeah. It's your Vizio. favorite Vizio. Vizio, no good. Curved Samsung, you like the curved screens. I do not. I guess you're getting 80, 80 inch. <laughs> this is only 2300. 80 inch. That's 220, 200. It is. That's a deal. All right, we gotta go get some water. Get some water. They think I wanna go get snacks. But we're getting a TV. Sure that's accurate. We're getting a TV, that's important. So I have a TV to watch. Yeah. 55. It's amazing how you can get a 55 inch. Now it's LCD, but for like 200 bucks, yep. it's the best thing ever. 228 bucks. Yeah, I mean, I I saved a bunch of money by getting this place because it was cheap. Where are we going? I have no idea where I'm going. Walmart. Want a snack on. Yeah. Oh, for your no, water. For your water. I need water yeah, for your water. The water. Where's the water? I can't find the water. Here it is, right here. Uh, all I There's see here is zingers. Code name. Code name. Water. <laughs> this is water. <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't like these ones. They're not. I don't know why. These are. They're better. You like the cake ones? Yeah. Well, that's like me. I don't. I don't prefer the ding dongs. I prefer the ho hos. Yeah. Let's like, see what else we got. They don't actually have, have these things called Swiss rolls. Marshmallow pies. Don't you like these too? Eh, not really. I only eat those if I have to. Oh, if you like in a pinch. Yeah. I got you. I do like these though, Nutty Buddies. 
Those these. Like those. These like individual packages. Oh, yeah. the, the, the yellow ones are so good. Yeah, right here, look. There they are. Orange. Yeah, the orange is. Yeah. All right, oh, where's the water? This will be just like Ed's garage. You you can get, get this unboxed for me. This is your TV. You got to take this back. Well, look, we built our own little theater out of our... What do we call this furniture? This is, um, Ikea furniture. Uh, but no, it's like, um, exactly. model home. Huh? Our model home, yeah. not so functional furniture. Staged. So we're swapping our element. You can't do anything with. So explain to me the logic. So they go to Walmart. They're like, we need to get a TV for this place. Yeah. So here's but the TV doesn't do anything. Like it's not a smart TV, so it doesn't work. The TV is like <laughs> two pounds. So there's no cable. They don't have a cable box. And no smart TV, yeah, so it's not. And there's no, like, all they had to do was buy a Chromecast or something like that. So there's no way to watch anything. But they bought a DVD player. Not a Blu ray, DVD. Yeah. I mean, who the heck has a DVD? Nobody. We didn't pack it. That's our problem. It was our fault. So, somehow, I bought a $268 LG, and this was like a high-end TV at Walmart. This, is, this was high -end. This was in the higher-end section. Yeah. Yeah. So, let's roll. Yeah. We look like ballers walking out of Walmart with us, you know. Really? Yeah. It's like we it was nothing. High-end Dasani water, <laughs> LG TV. And some $18 sheets. Right? And the higher-end brand-name candy. With your Ruth's Chris back. back. Yeah. We smell like steak walking through there. Like, look at these people. <laughs> like, who are these people? Do we look like we just ate at Ruth's Chris? Probably not. We look more a Walmart shopper today. Yeah, we look the part. Yeah. I look like Walmart shopper every day. Yeah. I got Crocs on, dude. Oh, that's right. You did. You did. Yeah. All right, let's go. Don't mess up the box. I'm not. I'm going to... I gotta ship this home. We, we don't have a knife in the kitchen to cut the tape with. <laughs> this is true. We need a butter knife. Here we yeah, go. a butter knife. We got a butter knife. Or the wood spatula. One of three. Oh, yeah, that's right. That'll work. All right, let's check this out. Don't cut yourself. I've never unboxed a TV like this before in my life. No? No. Careful now, don't scratch it. Hold on, you're probably supposed to open it from the bottom. No. No, not this kind. Oh, every TV I've ever bought, you would open it from the bottom. This is like Christmas, only in my nightmares. I mean, we are here for a week. Seems like a good, good investment. Once we get the feet, we can slide over. Now, what's this tape here for? We have to hold the screen on so it doesn't fall off. <laughs> It's probably a screen protector, screen cellophane. All right. Yes, this is like a real Ooh. theater setup. <laughs> so we got another six days of this. I want to be watching some on some bullcrap element. Actually, I don't want to be watching on my laptop. That's the deal. This is what we were going to do at Sean's. Yeah, we got it executed this time. Yeah, we did. At Sean's, we were only there for what four days or five days. Yeah, this is much better. Look at this. Make sure, this is uh, like LCD. Theater. How washed out that is. I hate LCD. No, looking on the bright side. We got a 55. We should have got the 65. I told you. Mm -hmm.